Hi, it's Miss Yvette, and happy West Virginia Family Reading Week. Um, for our story time today, we're going to go on an adventure with Leonard to find something in the park. And this is Lizard from the Park, and it's by Mark Pett. And this is read with permissions from by Simon and Schuster. Like most days, Leonard walked home by himself. On this particular spring afternoon, he took a shortcut through the park. When he got to the deepest, darkest part of the park, Leonard spotted something. It was an egg. And it was unlike any egg Leonard had ever seen before. See how big that egg is? Leonard put the egg in his backpack. He zipped it up and carried it home. He took it to his apartment, which was on the top floor of a very tall building. In his room, Leonard and the egg played together for the entire afternoon. That night, Leonard held the egg close as he fell asleep. In the morning, Leonard noticed something. The egg began to jiggle and crack, and then a nose busted through the shell. It was a lizard! Leonard watched as the lizard busted through the rest of the shell. Then Leonard made a decision. He named the lizard Buster. Leonard couldn't wait to show his new friend the world outside. He and Buster spent the whole day exploring Leonard's favorite places in the city. In the weeks following, Leonard took Buster everywhere. They spent their mornings together, their afternoons together, and they spent their in-betweens together. Here they are at the library. As spring turned to summer, Leonard realized something. Not only did Buster keep growing and growing and growing, but he seemed to be enjoying himself less and less. Meanwhile, the bigger Buster got, the more Leonard had to disguise him so he would fit in among the city crowds. And soon, it became impossible. Uh-oh, he's bigger than everybody. So Leonard decided to keep Buster in his room. But Buster didn't seem to like that either. I don't think I'd like to stay in one room all the time. After a while, Buster grew too big even for Leonard's room. So Leonard moved him to the roof, though he knew it was only a matter of time before Buster would outgrow that too. Leonard found himself in a very difficult situation. Finally, he had an idea. He gathered every balloon he could, every balloon he could find in the city. Red ones, shiny ones, balloons shaped like animals. He filled his entire room. That's a lot of balloons. On the day of the big parade, noisy crowds gathered into the streets below. Leonard heard music, and then he saw the giant balloons. Soon, the parade reached his building, and Leonard and Buster joined in. There they go, with all those balloons carrying them. Well, he looks like he's just another one of the balloons. When they reached the park, Leonard and Buster floated away from the parade and sat down gently near the deepest, darkest part of the park. 
husband, Buster, where Buster joined his family. See, here's all the other dinosaurs. Sometimes, Leonard still cuts through the park on his way home. See, there they are, wait. And sometimes, he takes a new way. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to pick up a story time craft.